that gold, but I don't need to. Um, you, what I think you're gonna mostly is like, after, for your sprawling, after you've thrown a kick, or when they're coming in with strikes. So either if they're gonna make you cover, or after you throw a kick, is a lot of times the first, the first opportunity they think they're gonna have, right? So the things you already, you know, think of are gonna serve you well. You don't let any kick just fly out and loose. You retract it as fast as you kick, you know, you quicker right kick through if you miss. That's still gonna serve you well, right? Like, if you're here and it comes down, it's, it's gonna be easier to pick up and grab, right? So kicking harder and bringing back hard. That's always gonna, gonna serve you well. But just for when you're like, if you want to practice a sprawl, um, we can do it on its own, but also your shadow boxing, because you started working the sprawls already, right? A little bit. Yeah. So if you're down here, we're going to shoot our hips down to the mat. And also you can think about like favoring one hip or the other. They're coming more to one side or the other. I could just go straight and that's fine. So lands a call for that. But a lot of times we're going to favor one. So maybe they're coming out of my lead leg in a single. I'm going to kick one out more, right? And then we'll pop it up. But we're going to talk about some stuff to do with partners. But for now, well, and back up in the fight sense. And that can either think about it most happen like after a kick, you might just fall. So just when you're using your imagination when you're shadow boxing, give yourself a nice little quota. Like this three minutes, and then at least fall five times, shoot three times. Just for conditioning, just for conditioning, right? For changing our levels and using that exertion. But also using our imagination to think like, oh shit, someone might be shooting in after a kick. Or they're flurring or covering. Then I'm gonna sprawl. So you think imagination like you would for for your fighting. Like imagine Marcus comes in with one two one two and then shoots. Right? Why might he be doing that? Because he got my attention up top. Now my hips and legs are available, right? As if, if I'm more neutral and he just shoots from here, I have my other hooks to meet him with that, right? Similar. Or if I kick and maybe I'm getting predictable with my timing or he thinks. He doesn't respect the kick. He might choose those opportunities, just like he might come with the right or something. Like I'll come with the rear roundhouse. He might use an opportunity to work for a takedown, grab it. Now it's going there, right? Because I'm on one leg as opposed to two, I'm less stable, right? So for off the bat, when you're shadow boxing, give yourself a little quota. Do whatever you're doing. Think about like, uh, kicking or here. Let me just for commission. Similarly, give yourself the other roll. Just to work on your level of changes. You can go knee all the way to the mat. You don't have to. Stance. Level change. Driving off the rear. Kind of straight with the lead. You can go knee and come up. But you can also, this level change, and drive to it. You don't have to go knee to the ground. Again, whether or not you'll end up shooting a lot in fights, do it for the conditioning, right? Get their attention up here and there. Go get you going. All right, so that's in of itself for kickboxing. Work it into your imagination. We do that. And then with a partner, we could be a little bit more formulated. We'll set up like. Um, a combo, like Marcus, I'm going to throw a one, two, three, kick, and Marcus will shoot in light, and I'll try to sprawl. We're not going to try to trick each other, we're just working the conditioning and the timing. So actually, we'll do the opposite. Marcus, can you just throw like a one, two, one, or one, two, three, kick, and I'm going to try to use that as an opportunity to take down. So, Nice and easy. I want you to fall harder next time. Now let's talk about that. I'm going to swallow you. Let's talk about the swallow when we have a partner. So off the bat, this is my liability. Him getting in deep on my hips. I've got to pick them out. We're going to talk later about cross facing, peeling, underhooking for sure. But for now, we're swallowing it out, right? And I want to try to have. My shoulder, no lower than here. I don't want to be over here. He can come out from behind. I want to kind of like feel the pressure here. 
angling down this way, right? Even if all we're doing is getting an angle, you know how we want to get off center on the feet? Mm -hmm. We want to get off the center off of reshoots, because I could be here, and he can still reshoot and get in, like, yeah. right? Our right in front of us. So sprawl, stuff the head, a black one, stuff the black, get off the center, come out, do this bit of standing. Later, we're gonna have some fun doing things here, making them pay, or turning them over and start working some strikes. We'll be there in about a week or two. But for now, the partner, I'll do it again. I'll throw one, two, three, kick, little shoe. Just like that with the partner. Nice and easy, real predictable. I'll peek, start feeling. Where's my chest? Ah, oh, it's kind of high. Let me get down here. All right, just try to put all your weight. Get an angle, stand up. You do that for time. Okay, now you do 10, you do 10, all right? Similarly, Marcus could do it off of, um, that was a reactive takedown set for Marcus. I threw something, he went for takedown. It could be the same, I'm going real big, ducks under. All right. He went for proactive takedown, which is off of his punches. He's gonna come and he's just there. Right? We get 10 of those each try to put again. Alright. Oh, let's go again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just practice that, okay? Like we do when we're doing strike examples. When we know what's happening, try not to over anticipate, but don't fall before you go. That way you create your cues for you, okay? Um any questions on that so far? So when you're sprawling, uh, you're going like their head is going one way, and you're sprawling, your weight's going on the opposite side? Yeah, ideally. It's like you're trying to auto and duck under, you're trying to sprawl uh, on me. So let's say, yeah. Yeah, so I'm coming over. So let's say I'm going to go, coming in. Yeah. Keep these suckers away hard as you can. Your, your shoulder, your chest, and then on my back, pick them up. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good. Okay. And that was really so good. This, this hand can be anywhere. Yeah. And this one you're just putting the weight on. Yeah. Well, exactly. One of those would kind of be there. Then we can do different things. We start chokes. We start working strikes. But off the bat, yeah, one shoulder and favoring. And what you did here too is exactly right. The leg that I had, like that I was the closest to. Is the one that you kick further away. Oh, exactly. I the first time, now I don't know. No, no, that was good. That's exactly. Okay. Okay, so this leg here is, is also going to be. Yeah, it'll be out there. Mm -hmm, for sure. Okay. But that was nice because you instinctively, I was a little bit more in on this one because it's right. closer to me. Okay. So you, you kick that one out and then you just hit one to the bad. Yeah. Okay. That's what I tried to get. Thank you. Oh, yes. Now, that was good. Now, come back here, go to river, and feel this balance. Good. Shoulder there, and just feel like it comes around. Let me just stick with me. Toe, feet. Good. Now, the threat here is that I can still get under you. So now I want you to just practice. Move your feet, get to like perpendicular to me. Move one side to the other. Nice. And then here, keep, you're being nice and you put your hand on my head. Like, turn my head away. Even more than that, I was like, yes. Now, it's going to be tough for me to turn towards you. Now you can stand up. Um, Away from your stomach. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah, this hand, what does this hand do? We've got a lot of different stuff. So over here. So I'm going to do a hand. So this hand is on the head. This hand should go to the this hand. Kind of this hand I like to block. Because one of the things that can happen, if I don't block it, he's just going to reach and start catching in here, right? So I can kind of like just touch. Oh, here. You can also use your knees. Come here if you want. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of sort. So off the bat, just for conditioning, play around with your shadow boxing with your sprawl. It's your imagination. Like, oh, I'm covering. That's when they might be shooting when we sprawl. Get that in the bunch. Mm -hmm. Or like, I throw a kick. Maybe they, they think they got me. Retract that. Sprawl. And then play with your own level change too. Just for fun. And then grab partners, right? Make them do it. Everyone's gonna be happy to help. Before class or after class, whatever. Say, hey, let's let me knock out um, um, 
10 sprawls. I'm going to give you the video and we'll knock out the 10 of this, 10 of that. Um, then we're going to have some fun. So if you do that for next week or two, um, we'll, we'll add in some fun um, offense to add on. Like we can just get away from the takedown, get a favorable angle, and stand back up. Step one. We love that. That's all good, right? Mm -hmm. Then we'll work on making them pay on their way up. Like a nice kick to the body or we're fighting. Somewhere that still allows it, nice kick to the head or something to stand up and go. Um, but then we can work on putting them on the back and sticking and more comfortable. Um, so that's one step. I'm going to show you another thing that you can start playing around with just to fill your balance. We'll get the ground bag, and um, you don't have to start doing it, but it might be fun. It's, uh, it's heavy bag work, but on the ground. So you're going to be working power, you're going to be working your base. I'll give you a few things to keep in mind and just experiment. Because striking on the ground is similar but, but different than on the feet. We can't usually like really pivot as strong as we want, but we can still activate the hips a little bit. So we'll cut there, and if you don't mind, we'll just go to the back. We'll show the